my friends, glad to see you made it. We're gathered here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God, he's alive. My friends, today, uh, we got, I got a little extension on this video, like I say, uh, in the, uh, the last couple of videos, um, I had a great revelation and from God, and it's all right here in, in the book of Exodus, going through, uh, chapters 10, and it's a little bit of 11 today. Um, I'm trying to explain to you uh, these ninth and 10th and plagues, you know, of what's happening here uh, on the earth today in, in our lives. You know, that's the thing with the Bible. Uh, it's when it becomes flesh. And it's more flesh today than, it, than it's ever been in our history uh, up until, except for the time of Jesus. So let's ask God for prayer and guidance. Gracious God, please empty my mind and my vessel of myself and the things that uh, of my desires. Father, you, you said in the, in the end times, in the last days, your children shall rise up and shine. Gracious God, let us shine, let us shine, O oh Father. Let our light shine upon the earth today. Father, strengthen our faith. Strengthen our courage. O oh, gracious God, hear my cry today as I ask you to, to bless this video and any who watch it. Father, let this message ring out across the world to those whom you wish to know who you are. And what's about to happen? Father, have mercy upon me and my soul. Forgive me for, for the words I speak. Uh, I'm a man of, of unclean lips and unworthy of your grace and your mercy. But it is your grace and mercy which we all seek, Father. Please deliver this mercy today. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So let's just jump right in today. I don't want to do a whole lot of reading. Uh, uh, I don't want to bore you. Um, I have a lot to say. Uh, you know, maybe I should start out like this. Have you ever heard this, you know, the story of Cinderella? <laughs> it's a weird little story. And the thing is, is, uh, you know, I want to kind of show you a few things here. Uh, you know, Moses goes and, and he takes his staff and he lays it down, you know, and there Pharaoh, and, you know, his staff turns into a snake and then Pharaoh calls in his magicians and, and his people and they throw down their snake. And that's the thing I want you to recognize today uh, is God, you know, Satan wants to mirror God. And not just mirror God, but, but mirror the Word of God. And that's exactly why you see the Illuminati and people trying to manifest the, their will. Just as they're trying to manifest, uh, uh, or, you know, us Christians are trying to manifest the will of God. So I come to you today in, in great seriousness. And, and uh, you know, although my faith is strong in God and shall not be shaken, I, I, I'm afraid and I'm very scared of, of uh, the revelations I will share with you today. Because that's the thing I, I want you to recognize and understand as the followers of Christ. All the prophets and dreamers and followers, true followers of Christ, have risen up and come and started to scream out the warnings. The trumpets have been blasting. And we have been judging you. And it ain't us. It's the Spirit of God judging you through us. And so today, uh, uh, I speak to you, Mr. President uh, of the United States. I, I speak to you, O oh, King of Darkness. To you, O oh, Satan. Because I, I ask you, please. This is your last chance to, to repent. This is your last chance to acknowledge the truth of, of who you are. See, that's the thing here uh, that we got to recognize, you know, as uh, it's a strange time. 
You know, you go to Akhenaten, you go to pharaohs in, in Egypt, and Akhenaten's one of the first pharaohs. He goes way back, and, and he's also one of the first people on earth to claim he, he was God in, in, in the flesh. And so, you know, it's all relative today because uh, as Pharaoh says to Moses, you know, uh, if you come the next time you see my face, I, I will kill you and I'll destroy you. And uh, that all came true there uh, when Jesus came and, and stood at the face of, of Satan, you know, and, and that's the thing we got to recognize. There are the children of darkness and there are the children of light. There are two seeds here on earth. But it is through only one seed we can be saved, and it is through the seed of Jesus Christ and his promise. So, you say, how does all this fit? What does it mean? And, well, America, you are Mystery Babylon, and this is what it means. You have broken a covenant with God. Although we, we, we look at there in Israel and oh, we're going to have peace and all these covenants and oh, what's the covenant? And, and here's the covenant you made, your ancestors made, the children of God made with God when they came to America. That, that one, that, that we would never have a foreigner be the president of our United States. Never. A, a foreigner. You must be a citizen here. And, and there you broke that covenant at, at when, you, when you hired Barack Obama as your president. Number two, you, you made a covenant with God. Your ancestors made a covenant with God that, that said that they will worship no other God but the Lord our God. Jesus Christ, who brings salvation to the world. And, and you broke that covenant in two places, in one spot, with one man. And also, behold, that same man bears the very image of Akhenaten, Pharaoh of Egypt, sons of darkness. So, so as they want to manifest, uh, make a mirror image uh, of Jesus, uh, in, in the religion, there you got Muslims, and, and, and there you got now a, a Muslim president uh, uh, and a liar and a deceiver to the nations and the people. You have somebody who's trying to take over the world. God says, he runs the world. Jesus Christ is king of the earth. So, so anytime somebody comes up with the stupid idea that they're going to run the earth and the world just from uh, go back to Babylon and Ebuchadnezzar and all the way down, right, to today, to the very last nation that's ever going to try to take over the earth again, you have exalted yourself to, to a place of mockery to God. And that's the thing, what they're doing, as they're creating this stuff and mocking God. Just flat out mocking God, because they don't believe God is going to come and take care of business. And you say, what about that uh, Cinderella story? What happens at midnight with Cinderella? You know, as Disney's just about ready to uh, make the new movie Cinderella, and I'm telling you, Cinderella, is they're mocking the, the bride of Christ through Cinderella. And, and that's Satan trying to manifest his will here on earth. And, and so we're got to be aware. And, and why is that significant? And what's going to happen? And what does all this mean? And, and God, is, and just like in the Bible says, you know, he's about to lift up their skirt. What happens at midnight? She, she turns. What does she turn into? The truth is what she turns into. The truth of who she really is. So, so there, I want you to know that the protection of God has been taken away from you. It's completely taken away. There, there, there is a cloud over the children of Israel, the children of, of the elect. And that's the thing that I've got to rec get you to recognize and understand as we've been building and working on our faith, and we're going to stand on the rock of God through our faith. 
be because we must have strong faith right now. As we look, and America thinks and believes that there's no way, no how, anybody on this earth will destroy them or tear them down. But, but for God, all things are possible. So don't mock God. And that's the thing that's where we are. Is we have judged you. And what did we judge? We saw your deeds and your evilness and the deception behind what you're doing. And so you have been judged guilty. Guilty. And it's through your witness. And we've witnessed it. We watched it. And we told you to stop. And we told you to stop. And to turn back to God. But you wouldn't do it. So he's going to rain on you. And when you go to this war. You're going to lose in a mighty way. Because when the mighty come falling down and they crash, it hurts real bad. So what do we do as Christians? Well, we're not going to get involved in it. The, the thing there in, in Missouri, Ferguson, Missouri, is just a taste of what's to come. And, and you stay away from the rioters and, and the protesters because that's... Uh, that's Barabbas. They chose, they, the sons of darkness, chose Barabbas, a, a murderer, a rioter, a protester, a lawless man, to rule over them. So to have no part in that, no peace in that. No, you are children of God. We, we stand back and we will heal the nations and, and we will shine. As Jesus says, in that day, in that day, when the tribulation begins, when it starts, and it's coming, and our light shall shine upon the earth like no other, like no other time. And our light shall be brilliant. And what light is it? It is our rock-solid faith. It is we shall not be shaken. As America gets taken over by a foreign army in a foreign country. <clears throat> so relax and know that it's coming. What's about to happen? We're about to go into three years of complete darkness. And it's the children of darkness who will be covered in this darkness. The children of light, the children of Israel, shall have light. They shall have comfort. They shall have the Christ with them. But the children of darkness shall be in complete darkness. Now, now, as the locusts begin to rise, the locusts being the rioters, the protesters, and all of that, that they're going to begin to devour and devour our peace. And they're going to begin to devour fruit, fruit of the love and, and peace on earth and here in our homes. So that's the thing. You sit back in America and act like that nothing's ever going to take this peace from you. But, but God's going to show you exactly what it means to suffer for the name of Jesus Christ. He has reigned and he's reigned many signs. He has fulfilled many words. That the rivers have turned to blood. That the, the fish are dying. The birds are falling. And you still haven't changed. You're still moving forward. Uh, uh, on the new world order. So, it's over. Judgment has been passed. And now it's time to execute judgment. So we're going to go through three years uh, of complete darkness. So be strong in, in this darkness. And if they take us into captivity, go into captivity. Don't uh, fight it. Those who fight it will be destroyed. They will perish. Those who don't fight it will live. And just understand God has a great plan to rebuild and restore. So remember, don't fight the will of God. Uh, we need to right now relax, have courage, and have courage. Have courage in the Lord our God and His word of deliverance. That's the thing God ain't going to return until, until this darkness falls on the land. So let's go to Exodus verse 21 of the chapter 10. 
Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, a darkness to be felt. So Moses stretched his hand out toward the heavens, and there was pitch darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They did not see one another, did they rise from the place for three days? But all the people of Israel had light where they lived. Then Pharaoh called to Moses and said, Go serve the Lord God. Your little ones may go with you. Only let your flocks and your herds remain behind. But Moses said, You must also let us have sacrifices and burnt offerings, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. Our livestock also must go with us. And so, he says, Not a hoof shall be left behind, for we must take one of, must take of them to serve the Lord our God. And we do not know with what we must serve the Lord until we arrived there. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. Then Pharaoh said, Get away from me. Take care never to see my face again. For on the day you see my face, you shall die. Moses said, As you say, I will not see your face again. And so then the, the, the final plague begins and, and the killing of the firstborn. And remember that Satan, those who chose Barabbas to rule over them, killed Jesus, the firstborn, the first fruits of God. And that's the thing, you know, you come back full circle to today and what's begun to happen. There they begin to kill that the firstborn, the children of God, beheading them, destroying Christians all across the earth, bringing great terror with them. And so what's about to happen? God is about to, to make good on his word. Although with Jesus Christ, he fulfills this stuff in spiritually. But now we are here today where it's going to be lived out in, in the physical world. So we must be aware and not to be afraid. Stand strong with God all the way until your death. Remember, we're going to be persecuted quite harshly uh, for this. And that's the thing. Don't lose hope. Recognize that, that, that they're each home, each place. If you have a home, a family with children of God, those who believe through their faith, use your faith in your prayer. Use your faith in, in your prayers to, to, to release them from your, their bondage. Recognize that God chose you and has put you in a place of mercy and grace and it's there to shine, to let your light shine into your families, into your homes, into your world, wherever it may be. And it's your faith that's going to shine. Your unshakable faith in God. That He is going to come. He is going to deliver us. And it's going to be okay. No matter how dark it may seem. For you, the light of God is with you. So, so recognize. Recognize that, that all this is about to be poured out onto the earth. It's not a fantasy. We're not talking of something clear out in the future. We are talking real life in our real life time. And so it's going to kind of, you know, look like Terminator. You ever seen the movie Terminator? And it'll be that same way. It was them trying to put a foreshadow on what was to come. But as God said, 
They, it's them who will be have their curse will be turned on to them. They will put their own sword into their own hearts and destroy themselves through their own mouths, through their own words, through their own mocking of God, through their own deeds, through the murder, and, and all those things. The denial of Jesus Christ here on earth. That's what's going to destroy them. And that's what's happening across the world. And that's what's happening right now. As the great whore has had her dress lifted above her head. So all the world may see the truth of who she is. The very truth of who she is. And you'll see it as soon as the economy begins to break down and become destroyed. As you put your faith in greed, you put your faith in the money, and all these things that, that have no eternal value. And when it's taken away, and when it's gone, because you were not there to help your brothers and sisters in need, no one will be there to deliver you. Although you shall cry out to the Lord your God, it will not be till then will you be delivered. But if for us here on earth, you better hope the Lord our God is your refuge. Put your faith there. See the people across the world as they don't want to hear it. They put their fingers in their ears and they close their eyes. I won't even watch the news no more. I don't want to be a part of it. Ah, you guys are crazy. And they just kind of go right back into a little closet, into a place where nobody's going to bother them. That is the Holy Spirit convicting them of their sin and of their wickedness because they don't want to hear the truth anymore. But the truth is about to come to be reality. And, and you must recognize. You must recognize that all across the world, each and every one of us uh, who are followers of Christ, we have seen the glory of God and He's coming. And the glory of God cannot be contained in the human mind, into the human body. We shall shine across the earth, each and every one of us. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. Let the glory of God shine through you. Let this dead, dying world know that the living God is coming to bring justice upon the earth. He shall reign. God reign your greatness. Reign your holiness. Father, reign the justice that you have promised us, Father. Reign today your love and your mercy upon your children. Gracious God, that's the thing that, that you must understand. As you, O Barack Obama, O dead president, you have said that you will deliver through the strong arm of justice, justice that is due to this earth. But it is God, our Father, that's going to smite you down and give you the justice you deserve for, for your unfaithfulness, for your blasphemous words, for your mocking the living God. You shall be destroyed like the chaff of the wind. Father, I call and I pray to the four winds of the earth. Father, let all your children rise. Let them sing. Let them know that you are the living God and you shall come. You are coming, O oh God, to deliver us. O oh, Father, we sing praise to you for your mercy and your love. For you have passed over us and you didn't pass over them. For they didn't choose you. They didn't want the mercy. They didn't want the love or the peace that you had offered them. Gracious God, make good on your word. Again, I call to the four winds, to the four winds of the earth and all those upon the earth, that, that they would stand up, stand in faith, and be strong. God, I ask for courage in these days. I ask for faith in these days. Oh God, let your glory be seen. Let your glory be known. As you stomp out Satan, as you stomp out the wicked. Oh God, let your glory be seen here on earth as you are the mighty hand is about to deliver us. Oh Father, 
I ask you at one last time to have mercy upon those you are about to smite. Mercy, Father. Not just us, but the whole world, God. That's the thing is Jesus came to prepare us, Father, for this day so that we would stand strong in our faith. Lord, my God, how we thank you for the teachings and instructions of Jesus Christ who has prepared us for this day, for prepared us to be a light, prepared us to shine, God, to deliver them. Let your healing come. Let your power come so we may heal those who are blind and we may heal the broken hearts. Oh, Father, let our light shine through you so your glory may be seen. Gracious God, come. Come in the name of Jesus Christ to deliver us. Amen. Oh, my friends, I, I'm telling you the truth. My eyes have seen the glory of God, and He is coming, and He's coming soon to deliver His children from this dead, dying world. Put your faith in God, and He shall deliver you and your family and all the ones you love, because if there's any love in you, it's the love of God who pours out of them so that they may be saved, so that you may know God loves them. For Almighty God is powerful. He's love. Let your love be known across the world. Let this world know that Jesus Christ is alive and He lives today. He lives in us. The children of the Most High. The children of light. Let this world know we will not die without a fight. For the name of Jesus Christ is worth all fights. It is worth death. It is worth dying for. For the eternal life has no end to the mercy, to the love, and the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. You remember today, on this day, is the last day the last time the Lord our God is going to cry out for mercy because the hand of justice is about to be delivered upon the earth. Put your faith in God before it is too late. Put your faith in God before it is too late. Turn from your wicked ways and your false worship and turn to the living God before it is too late. See you next time.